Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got a Nokia One Plus. I handset that actually caught me by a surprise. I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect a Nokia One to be released, One Plus. Um, and when the Nokia rep, a friend of mine, rang me up and said, hey, I've got a Nokia One Plus. I was like, what, what's, what's that? So, as you can see, that is a welcome addition, a replaceable battery in 2019. This is actually a smartphone which runs on, Andro <laughs> on Android and does have a replaceable battery. On top of that, as you've seen, it's a dual SIM variant and it also sports a um, memory card. Um, slots. As you can see, there is a headphone jack as well. We've got the micro USB port on the bottom, a front facing camera and ambient sensor and the um, earpiece as well. Now, in terms of the actual screen size, so it's actually pretty decent. And the phone itself runs on Android um, Go. So it's Android Go edition. Um, however, um, however, it is a Android 9, so, you know, you are very, very up to date. Let's have a look. Yep. So you've got the security patch level from the 1st of April, so the latest available, um, which is always a nice addition. And because it's an Android Go, you don't, you don't have... The, the main difference is that some of the apps are Go Edition apps, um, like for example the Google Maps, where it works web-based rather than app-based in terms of navigation, but if you'd like to, you can download normal apps as well. Um, then we've got the internal storage, and the big thing about Nokia is you do get 8 gigabytes of internal storage, but if you'd like to, you can format the um, memory card as an internal storage. So as you can see, I've got a 16 gig memory card plus 8 gigs in internal. That means I've got 24 gigs, well, 19 free available, um, which, is, which is actually really good. So all your apps and everything can... Um, can download onto the, um, the, the the internal storage. Now, the big thing about that as well is that if you format it as a portable storage, which is an option as well, you can then remove that memory card and use it in different phones. If you leave it as an internal storage, your memory card, that means that it can only work with this phone. If you'd like, you can obviously format that card within the phone itself, but you will lose everything if you keep changing between portable and internal storage. You do get the ambient display, which is a nice addition. So as you can see, you do get the time um, showing on the display itself. So it's um, really nice, actually. Um, even though it's not an AMOLED display, display or anything like that. Then you do obviously do get the Bluetooth. Um, I'm really struggling to find the NFC on this handset. So I'm not sure if it's that's like an early model or there is no NFC on it um, at all. But yeah, in terms of pre-installed apps, it's a box standard android however you do get the fm radio for example and so on and so on in terms of the actual camera itself we do get the 8 megapixel camera on the back and 5 megapixel camera on the front uh, with the autofocus if you'd like to and then in terms of recording we can record up to 1080p in 30 frames per second now i did try and download open camera to see if i can force the MediaTek processor um, to record in 4K. Unfortunately, it's not possible. So these are the ratios of the photos taken. And the usu as usual, the actual picture quality will be at the very end of the video. The phone runs actually pretty decent in terms of like, you know, the processor. You do get only one gigabyte of RAM, but because it's an Android Go, it actually does its job pretty well and let's have a look or let's have a listen to how the speaker sounds. So yeah, these are the camera samples, both from front-facing and back-facing camera. Let me know what you think about the phone. Thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews, and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye!